The Colorado Sports Hall of Fame ceremony is tonight, and our 9 News Broncos insider Mike Kliss joins us live from the special event alongside the Boulder native Tony Baselli, who's about to be inducted. Hi, Mike. Hey, Scotty. Thank you. Yes, Tony Baselli here with his uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame gold jacket that you got uh, last year or the year Two before? Years, uh, 22. Yeah, 2022. It, it, it's going. You've you've dropped some weight. It's yeah, where it it's wearing you. Right it now. doesn't fit right now. I I got a new one ordered, but uh, yeah, I turned 50 right after I got inducted, and uh, or right before I got inducted, and uh, after seeing the doctor, I said, you know, there's not a lot of 300 plus pound old yeah. people, so I decided it was time to take my health a little bit serious. What, what does this mean? Because you you've had the ultimate yeah. honor, which is Pro Football Hall of Fame. This being the Colorado Sports Hall of Fame, where you grew up. I mean, it's huge. I mean, yeah. for me, it's like you said, it's where I grew up, yeah. and uh, and to be honored by my home state, and uh, to, you know, my family would be here, a lot of my extended family, and uh, Coach Pagano, who coached me, give him a ton of credit. Um, would not be uh, here in the Hall of Fame or anything else without him. Uh, so this is special uh, to be included in uh, so many great players who've been inducted in the Colorado Sports Hall of Fame. I think it's, uh, I don't know if ironic's the right word, but it's uh, a coincidence. You going in the same time as Woody Page. Yeah. I met you after his famous uh, column or infamous column where he uh, disparaged Jacksonville and the Jaguars. And I met you right after the game. I interviewed you with the Colorado Springs Gazette. First thing he said to me was, tell what he thinks. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> interesting. I mean, that playoff game, I think we were 15-point dogs, and yeah. nobody thought we'd win. And I remember waking up that morning before uh, heading to the stadium and reading uh, Woody uh, Page's article, and he called us the Jaguads, yeah. and that we were just a bunch of jokes and had no chance. So uh, we were already motivated, yeah. but that didn't hurt. You, uh, I tell you what, you opened up some holes for Natrone uh, Means. Yeah. Brunel was unbelievable. He was unconscious that day with Jimmy Smith. Oh, yeah. That, you know, when that goes down, you know, is the second worst, among the two worst losses in Denver Broncos history. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, listen, growing up, I mean, I, my dad, uncle had season tickets, sat in the fifth tier of, you know, yeah. old mile high and uh, was the biggest Bronco fan still the day, fan yeah. until I, the day I got drafted by Jacksonville. So to come back, and I had 80 people, about 80 tickets, family. Wow. And the funny thing after the game, I think at least 50% of them, uh, we're happy for me, but we're like, <laughs> like mourning because yes. they thought they were just like, oh, Tony, it'll be nice. We'll show up, yeah. but the Broncos are going to the Super Bowl and yeah. so on and so forth. So uh, I found out that day that uh, while my family loves me, I think uh, they were rooting for the Broncos a little bit more than the Jaguars. Sometimes it's the name on the front of the jersey. You <laughs> yeah, know, that's right. Tony, congratulations. Have fun tonight. And uh, Scotty, we'll send it back to you. Colorado Sports Hall of Fame is going to be a nice one. That's awesome, Mike. Thanks so much. Tony looks great in that jacket, by the way.